Resistance or spot welding uses the electrical resistance of the welding materials to produce heat for the welding process. There are several important parameters in spot welding. The first is the peak electrical current into the workpiece. The peak current depends on the resistance of the workpiece as well as the wires leading to the weld. The Orion's peak current is indirectly controlled by adjusting the power. Another important factor is the overall energy into the weld. This can be controlled using both the power and pulse length settings. The more energy available, the larger the spot and the more weld penetration possible. The pressure you apply to the weld joint is also an important factor in the spot welding process. More pressure translates to less heat and conversely, less pressure will translate to a hotter weld. All of these factors contribute to weld performance, but as a rule of thumb, when welding with a handheld attachment, use moderate pressure with an energy and length setting that produce a clean weld without melting the welding tips. Resistance welding can be used to produce permanent or temporary welds as needed. Simply adjust the weld energy to the desired level. It is important that the user only use 10 AWG cable or physically smaller cable such as 12 AWG and no shorter than 3 feet per welding lead. This will limit the welding current during the spot welding process which can be thousands of amps and prevent damage to the Orion. For more information contact Sunstone Engineering.